Aquarius, welcome to this Just In Time Tarot reading. If you're watching this, trust that there is a message here for you. And Aquarius, your message begins with the end of a tough cycle approaches. Yes, yes, yes. And it's great to know that as the year is coming to a close, it is time to put the struggle behind you and you might just get a helping hand this week. Full moon and the Capricorn energy coming through and the Capricorn energy for me is always, you know, to do with our earthly resources, assets, our money, our home, maybe our work. Maybe there's been a struggle there. Well, that is coming full circle, full cycle, full moon energy. And then we turn over a new leaf in 2024. So I love seeing that energy there. And Capricorn, of course, is the devil and the major arcana. So something that maybe you've been feeling out of power with, you finally overcome. All right, yeah, you finally overcome liberation freedom from a hard cycle this is a judgment energy for me which comes before the world the last major arcana where we close out a cycle where we graduate where we you know achieve a huge victory and things come into balance so you're freeing yourself from a struggle you're being told that you're liberating you know and the end of a tough cycle approaches let's go to the tarot i'm using the accurate af round tarot and for you Aquarius the first card out is the nine of swords yeah well I mean this is where you're coming from conflict anguish you know worst case scenario thinking being really worried about the outcome or something you know not coming into fruition this is what you're overcoming this is absolutely what you're overcoming the moon yeah what you don't know yet is that there is a new path that is revealing for you i mean the moon is about hidden blessings it can talk about also revealing truth or revealing insight knowledge information it's a card of intuition so you might also be getting strong intuition and of course that is you know our inner wisdom is really where the truth lies three of swords okay so we've got a, a disappointment, loss, a severing of ties here with the Three of Swords, maybe an upheaval or a release. It's the end of a tough cycle. So maybe the tough cycle actually, um, you know, re reaches some kind of crescendo here where we do need to sever ties. Maybe that is the portal or the gateway to liberation. So you need to really ask yourself, does this serve me anymore? Or is it time to say goodbye? The Three of Swords is a three for a reason, Aquarius, because it's the number of the Empress. So I always say that it's a it's a gateway or portal to rebirth and to creation. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, which is an energy of stability and security, but it can also be an energy of holding on to false senses of security and not really wanting to let go. But we've got to remember there's a cost and a payoff for that. Now, the cost is you know staying in the nine of swords or staying in the tough cycle you might be staying in a situation just because you know there is fear of the unknown but you know that the payoff for going through that upheaval three of swords is liberation is freedom is being able to rise like that angel or phoenix and the page of cups is here wow i mean the page of cups for me is always this energy of returning to joy and happiness it is often an unexpected situation, right? This might have been unexpected, this shift, but you're being told that it's going to end a tough cycle for you. And the Page of Cups brings you the Ace of Cups, an emotional new beginning. So you might learn something, you might learn some information or learn a truth that has you go through the upheaval, the severing of ties of Three of Swords release yourself from a false sense of security but you're being told that this liberates you and it's actually the end of a tough cycle so you might have been putting up with a situation you know you might have been putting up with a situation that just isn't healthy for you Aquarius that's kind of what I'm getting here yeah and the world here it goes you know I was really feeling that sort of final judgment energy with this card and now I've pulled the world which is the last major arcana that comes after judgment, which is really like a, a spiritual graduation. You've learned what you need to from this situation. It is actually perfect time for completion. So that in 2024, you are opening up a whole new cycle and you powerfully, vulnerably step through into that. This is a victory card. This is a win. 
I think you're actually closing a really significant situation or long-term, uh, you know, situation in your life. It could be, you know, leaving a whole industry for work. It could be that, you know, you're needing to walk away from a toxic workplace or a relationship that you've just outgrown. And often at this time of the year, we sort of get that extra boost of fuel to make those changes as we begin to reflect on, you know, what has unfolded across the year and where we might, might want to be this time next year. You're being told that a completion, a major completion, is the gateway to liberation and a new path of hidden blessings unfolding for you. It's also the end of a very tough cycle. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I do hope you enjoyed this message. If you would like to tune this for your personal circumstances, please do follow the first link down below and you can pop over to my website and check out what I offer there. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Please do hit subscribe on your way out. That makes all the difference to these readings keeping on coming. I'd be really grateful for that. And I am just wishing you all the love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.